Okay, Cole's Little Tree House, book 11. Professor Stupido, the greatest uninventor in the world. Hi, I'm Andy. I live in a tree house with my friend Terry and we make books together. I write the words and he draws the pictures. Hi, I'm Terry. I live in a tree house with my friend Andy and we make books together. I draw the pictures and he writes the words. Hi, I'm Jill. I live in a house full of animals in the forest near my friends Andy and Terry. I like animals and solving problems and doing puzzles. And I'm Silky. I'm a catenary and I can fly. And I'm Jill's favourite pet. If you're like most of our readers, you've probably heard of inventors. But have you ever heard of uninventors? Yeah. Instead of inventing things, they uninvent things. The most famous uninventor in the world is Professor Stupido. And this is his story. Professor Stupido, the world-famous uninventor, first discovered his powers of uninvention as a child when his wind-up toy robot refused to play with him one day. In a rage, he grabbed a hammer and with one mighty blow, he uninvented the toy robot forever. <laughs> Smash! You are a rotten wind-up toy, you whir and click and stammer. I hereby uninvent you with the help of this big hammer. Smash. Bleep. Not long after uninventing his toy robot, he discovered he could also uninvent boring books. Your plot is boring and your characters are dire. I hereby uninvent you via the fire. As Professor Stupido grew older, he became capable of even more dazzling feats of uninvention. He was able to uninvent anything he, sim he didn't like simply by pointing at it and saying a little rhyme. Roses are red, violets are blue. Get out of my sight, I uninvent you, blort. One cold day, Professor Stupido was walking in the park thinking of new things to uninvent when he saw a hot, a hot ice cream seller. A nice hot ice cream is just what I need to warm me up, said the professor. Hot ice cream, get your hot ice cream, hottest ice cream in town. Just what I need. But unfortunately, the hot ice cream was so hot it burned the professor's tongue and he cried out in pain. You burned my tongue and made me scream. I uninvent you, hot ice cream. And then there was no such thing as hot ice cream anymore because Professor Stupido had uninvented it. Not long after uninventing hot ice cream, Professor Stupido was on another idea-gathering walk in the park when he was buzzed by a gang of flying beetroot riders. Ha ha, vroom. Curse these flying beetroots, said Professor Stupido. I have a good mind to uninvent them once and for all. You can't uninvent flying beetroots, said one of the flying beetroot riders. You can't uninvent flying beetroots. Oh yeah? Well, watch this, said Professor Stupido, pointing at the flying beetroots. Stupid flying beetroots whizzing through the air. I hereby uninvent flying beetroots everywhere. Suddenly, there was no such thing as flying beetroots anymore, and the surprised ex-flying beetroot riders fell from the sky and crashed to the ground. Ouch! Ugh. Oof. Which made Professor Stupido very happy, and all the ex-flying beetroot riders very unhappy. We hate you, Professor Stupido! One afternoon, Professor Stupido was out taking his daily stroll, thinking of new things to uninvent. When an enormous frogpotamus jumped out of a tree. Curse 
curse these disgusting frogpotamuses, always jumping out of trees and attaching themselves to my head, yelled Professor Stupido. I'm going to uninvent the lot of them. Oh, of frogpotamuses, I am not a fan. Cease your existence as fast as you can. And then there were no more frogpotamuses in the world anymore, which made Professor Stupido very happy. And all the frogpotamuses, spotters, the frogpotamus spotters, very unhappy. But you've made them extinct. What will we frogpotamus spotters spot now? Not my problem. As Professor Stupido uninvented more and more things, more and more people became very unhappy with him. Where did my talking pineapple go? What about shake dogs? Where do they go? I miss smelly vision and walking cars. Bring back vegetable aeroplanes and my edible bed. <laughs> Disposable grandmas <laughs> and chocolate pillows. Mm. Electric cheese toasting cats. Custard gloves. <laughs> but Professor Stupido didn't care. He wasn't about to stop uninventing things. In fact, he invented a plan to uninvent everything in the entire world. The, uh, the idea made him very happy, and he did a little dance and sang a song. Imagine a world that has been uninvented. Think of all the problems that will now be prevented. So... No boxing elephants to punch your nose, no crabs at the beach to pinch your toes. No waste, no rubbish, no junk, no litter, no texting, no Facebook, no apps and no Twitter. How clean, how pure, how perfectly silent, how wonderfully peaceful and not at all violent. Nobody could possibly be discontented in a world that I have uninvented. But before Professor Stupido could uninvent everything in the world, the people of Earth had a big meeting and voted to uninvent Professor Stupido. They picked him up. They picked him up. Tied him to a rocket. Good riddance! And blasted him to the dark side of the moon where he could, wouldn't be able to upset them with his annoying uninventions ever again. You fools! Is that a flying beetroot? No, there's no such thing as flying beetroots anymore. You'll all be really sorry. I'll be back very soon once I've figured out how to uninvent the moon. The end.